Hello, and welcome to another edition of Political Empire. I'm Jeff Horseman with the Press Enterprise and PE.com. And today's show, we're going to be talking about whether Riverside City Council members are going to be getting raises. And then uh, the issue of medical marijuana has been making some headlines. And we're going to be talking a little bit about that with our legal affairs reporter. Uh, first, Riverside County, Riverside County, Riverside City, excuse me, council members decided January 8th to keep the same salary they've had since 2007. The council discusses its compensation every two years and it's not given itself a raise at any of the last three opportunities citing economic concerns. Now, council members earn about uh, $39,408 annually, and they are also entitled to health, retirement, and other benefits. Um, so now we're going to be talking about uh, medical marijuana because there's been some recent developments regarding um, that controversy here in the Inland Empire. And here to talk about it is Rich Diantley. Rich, how you doing? Hi, very well, thank you. All right. So, uh, let's, Rich, let's start with uh, Aaron Sandusky. Who is he and how is he factor into all this? Aaron Sandusky uh, was sentenced uh, on Monday to 10 years in federal prison. Uh, he ran G3 Holistics which was a medical marijuana uh, operation with a warehouse in Ontario and stores in Upland, Colton, and Moreno Valley all shut down now. Federal government said that Sandusky was using medical marijuana Prop 215 in California and other regulations to justify a business that was actually outside of Prop 215's uh, uh, guidelines as running a collective. They said basically he was running for a for-profit grow and sell operation his supporters and Sandusky himself, of course, said, no, I was being straightforward about running this operation and uh, was always forthcoming with federal authorities as I was interviewed and checked out. And the government came back and said, no, you were operating outside the guidelines. All right. Well, and also, uh, I understand that the California Supreme Court is going to be hearing a case that has ties to an inland uh, dispensary. Can you talk about that? Right. This is the key case on whether or not cities and counties can put an outright ban on medical marijuana dispensaries inside their boundaries. Uh, this is uh, City of Riverside versus Inland Empire Patient Health and Wellness Center. And it's the lead case in uh, this that the California Supreme Court is going to decide on. There are several cases where the uh, where uh, now by appellate courts in Riverside, the appellate fourth district appellate uh, division two uh, court stood by Riverside, said yes, you have the right to peremptorily ban dispensaries, uh, notwithstanding Prop 215 and Cal other California laws regulating uh, dispensaries. Uh, and uh, meantime, another appellate court division in, a, in Orange County, exact opposite. No, you can't do that because of Prop 215 and the other regulatory. So this brings it up before the state Supreme Court, February 5th. They're hearing it in San Francisco. All right. Well, uh, I know we'll be following that. So thank you very much for sharing your insight. And thank you for watching Political Empire. Be sure to check PE.com for everything happening, politics, crime, you name it, in inland Southern California. I'm Jeff Horseman. Thanks for watching.